You know, Volvo 240 series with proper care and maintenance are able to work no worse than a new car, even with hundreds of thousands of miles on the clock. Patrick's Garage. Grab your snack, welcome back. And how we can achieve these fantastic results from our old car? Yes, we want to take care of our car, and first of all, we want to change oil, you know, one time per year, each year, we want to change the oil, or this depends from mileage, every 5000 of miles, you want to change your oil, and you don't want to listen what they are farting about, Ten thousands of miles you want to change oil each five thousands of miles if this is if you're using synthetic oil but when you're using average oil you know three thousands of miles will be normal this interval will be normal for oil average oil you know and i'm using also not so expensive oil diesel oil just because with flat top it's my engine all design but you want to use oil which intended for your gasoline engine synthetic oil really modern relatively modern engine 240 series they're using this relatively modern engines and you don't care about all these additives for oil the same oil which you're using for modern gasoline cars but proper oil you know you should use proper oil which was intended for this especially for this engine timing belt yes this is also a really important question about timing system you know they're using these rubber timing belts before engine was before these engines which they supply to the 240 series they used they supplied b18 and b20 engines these engines uh, with timing gears you know fiberglass gear one made out of stainless steel or just of steel but I don't care I can't remember now but one gear which attached to the camshaft from fiberglass yes you can replace them you can put from steel from aluminum uh, but they more noisy and this fiberglass also was used with uh, uh, first with arrest models of 240 series which they used from the start they, this engine was used for Volvo Amazon 140 series and earlier 240 series but you know what they doing they decided to put metric size crankshaft uh, and uh, uh, later they replaced this engine by B19 engine and only after that they're using so famous now B23 or 230 uh, how to say correctly this is letters also designations these specifications of these engines you know they they were with turbo you know one of my cars uh, was uh, volvo 940 series 1996 with turbo also this engine was supplied to b b20 uh, b230 uh, was used for 240 series so what you want to care about this is timing belt oil you know you want to replace you want to see in which condition your rubber timing belts i don't know why they decided to using this stinky timing belt but truly say i never seen this is stirred completely this timing belt but you know this tensioner 
should be in good condition so it can slide and shake the engine but i think more reliable this is construction with timing gears but this is engines without interferences as uh, said uh, guys with uh, i was familiar with and they said that this is engines volvo 740 940 without interferences their engines so they said me but i never <laughs> checked by myself and i'm never going to do this but anyway you don't want to stuck in the middle of the nowhere with uh, your tiered uh, timing belt so you want to take care of this timing belt oil timing belt yes of course spark plugs and you want to see you want to accomplish all this maintenance which require for average uh, gasoline engine you know ignition yes proper ignition really important this angle of ignition you know dwell because octane ratio can be different but this is critical just for mechanical ignition you know oldest models i mean and what we can get how long volvo 240 series lasts yes you know almost uh, two million nine hundred uh, miles volvo 240 series can last and uh, you know this is uh, millions of miles more than three millions of miles you know p uh, one eight hundred series uh, was achieved more than three millions correct me if i'm wrong but this is red color you know a really famous car which it achieved uh, this mileage but uh, let's let's admit that this is just exception rather than a rule all the time you want to continue to maintain your car in proper way now you decided to driving this car long period of time and you want to proving yourself that you're able to maintain your car consistently you can keep promises for yourself you decided to driving this car and you can keep promises for yourself first of all of course you driving not for driving you want to driving you need to driving <laughs> not just because to get a lot of miles on the clock main thing that you decided to driving this car long period of time and this is the main thing, main criteria for any car, I think. And if you have no this desire to driving this car long period of time, nothing can help you to get a lot of miles on the clock. I mean, to continue driving this car long period of time. If you n not have no vision why you want to do this, every time you're driving, you enjoy this process of driving. And uh, of course, sure, you want to extend the longevity of your car and you take care of your car all the time, each moment. And nothing strange if you get a lot of thousands of miles, a lot of hundreds of thousands of miles on the clock, and you went all into this goal, into this process of driving your car not your goal to get a lot of miles on the clock you want to enjoy this process and you take care of your car like you take care of yourself 
you using quality oil, you using quality and proper gasoline. We are what we consume and probably cars also. They consume proper maintenance, proper gasoline oil and your proper attitude. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do click the subscribe button and notifications bell, so that way you can be notified as soon as I upload new videos about car repairing.